Hi and welcome to the channel of love. We take love here seriously on the channel, you know. But like this video, it knocked the socks out of me, man. I was, I'm still kicking myself. I don't know if I'm menstruating or pubertations, something like that, along those lines. You know, I saw the video Brandy and Lazarus, and it sounded like a party, so I clicked on it, and wow, it's some really. I don't know if it's like college shit or right, you're trying to get that out of your system or something, but please advise. Parental guidance is advised. We have been practicing domestic discipline for roughly 10 years. I think you said you only use your hand. That's not true. And that choice of life. Why are you capping on Lazarus? Why are you doing that, man? You can't just be capping on him and say things like irrelevant things like, but you only said you use your hands. That's a lie. You use other stuff. You use cars and fists and stuff. Look, I get it, right? But don't be playing that shit, all right? Lazarus, man, look at this motherfucker sideburn, man. This guy demands respect, all right? And he's going to get all of it from me. So, yeah, don't, don't cap on him like that, man. You should have known better. We have been practicing domestic discipline for roughly 10 years. A domestic discipline relationship is a dynamic... Damn, there's a lot of shit paper, man. Who you got living in the house? Amber Turd? ...between two consenting adults where you have a dominant and a submissive. Mm -hmm. Dominant is usually yeah. referred to as the HOH, which is mm -hmm. head of household. Mm -hmm. The submissive is referred so to is as a sub is. or a TIH, which means taking mm. in hand. The dominant sets mm. rules and expectations for the submissive mm -hmm. to live by, and <laughs> there are consequences for not following the rules or not meeting those expectations man that is some 50 shades of gray man like first and foremost brandy you're a grown woman second dmx even shouted you out he said brandy latifa laquifa you just gave us a bunch of useless information like i wish they would put that shit in like this capricorns and whatever it's like yeah i'm a capricorn a tih just so people can ask you what the fudge is that man he's like Take it in hand, you know what I'm saying? Relationship is a dynamic between two consenting adults. You know it's funny, right? So there's some people out there that want to be strangled, that want to be punched in the face. Crazy people. Yeah, they, they, they like that shit, man. They'll be in an argument. They'll be just like, oh, you want to punch me? Punch me. Come on, punch me in the face. Strangle me. Come on, do it. Do it. It's like, yeah, no, but you refrain, right? Black guys don't do this type of shit. They know better. I mean... You didn't get the memo, obviously. Right now, it's good, right? So it's good, yeah. Please, continue. But when she wants a fucking Gucci bag, and you might have been sleeping around with other chicks, shit, that's gonna come back to bite you in the ass. And I mean it, man. I mean, that's some Amber Heard type of shit. We saw it. We saw it. We know what it's about. And if she has videos, that's the worst, man. If she has videos of you strangling her, punching her, and shit, Q to 5 oh man. They'll be at your door, like, in a flash and they don't even care you come out of the shower butt as naked man they grab you by the shaft pull you in and throw you in like a goddamn dog right and i would love to see you explain that shit they'll be asking you did you strangle this woman did you beat this woman and then and then you're just an asshole saying yeah we're adults you know she asked for it how bludged she signed me up 25 to life like yeah man <laughs> Black people don't do this type of shit. The four D's are danger, disobedience, disrespect, and dishonesty. dishonesty. Following up on consequences being broken under the four D's, it could be from spanking or writing lines, corner time, or just a, a stern lecture. What kind of bullshit is that, man? Writing time, and then also the corner time. Like a time out or some shit. All of a sudden your bros walk in and like, what are you what is your wife doing? Yeah, she's been disobedient for a long time. And I c I can't deal with her right now. She gotta think of what she did. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't play that damn man. You know what I'm saying? Like what are you, twelve? And also what kind of stern lecture are you talking about? I mean, come on, guys. Like seriously, this is this is some messed up shit, man. You can't be playing school school the whole day, right? You give her a stern lecture or you spit in her face because it's stern, you know? Come on, guys. No. No. It depends on which rule you broke. They all suck. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Shit.
also asked her to write a line stating that being submissive is important. It was being submissive is very important. It's a unique quality to have. I will be submissive at all times to my HOH. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Now, you guys, I understand where you're coming from because you guys are so boring. You need every bit of spice to spice up your marriage, man. I can understand that. I mean, looking at you, man, a double date will be the worst, man. With with you two guys, man, with, no, man, I, would, I wouldn't find a dog quick enough. And then little Mr. Lazarus over here is just like, man, when was the last time you got some paper? And I was like, what are you talking about, man? You talking about that cheese? Like, no. Nah. Fuck cheese, motherfucker. I'm talking about that toilet paper, man. You got stuck up now. Like, what you doing after you go from here, man? What you gonna do? Go down to Walmart, man. Get a fine, fine piece of paper, man. Toilet paper gets me hard, boy. You should get it now while it's on sale, man. Hot as a fudge. You might be surprised to learn that the idea for this relationship structure didn't come from Lazarus. Damn. I mean, that's a spanner in the works right there. You know, I would... I mean... I'm kind of a little bit surprised, you know. I thought it was Lazarus, you know, keeping a pimp hand strong. You know what I'm saying? With that million dollar sideburn, you know what I'm saying? Like, he be a pimp, man. He, he a pimp, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he, that, he that man, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it doesn't really surprise me. I mean, you guys are kind of weird, Brandy. So, let's just leave it at that. Second point is that you can't be playing your fetishes 24-7, all right? This is role play. And then you get hard of this type of shit. Listen, let me let me tell you why you can't do it, all right? You don't see any other guys just, like, playing hot nurse or whatever. You're playing spank me daddy. Like, what kind of bullshit is that, man? If he would have a daughter, I, I mean, I saw a son. I don't know if they have a daughter or anything. But, like, if, if the daughter did something and he give her, like, a spanking the way it should be. And then, I mean, what kind of weird energy would that be, man? She would just be saying, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, when you finish here, daddy, you know what to do, man. Like, you know, that's that's not that's not uh, appropriate, right? So when you have kids, you send those kids away and you do whatever type of, you know, Fifty Shades of Fucked Up, you know, whatever is in your head and whatever, you know, you dirty ass motherfuckers, you know, ain't, ain't got to do anything with me, you know? It's like, it is what it is, you know? Do what you got to do, but not in front of these kids, man. Don't be playing 24-7 this type of shit. Brandy, just for your personal am amusement, getting hard off this type of shit, getting off of this type of shit. Like, yeah, guys, no. So, yeah, black people, man, they don't do this type of shit, man. These, these, these two motherfuckers are frauds, you know, let's just leave it at that. But, yeah, it's been an absolute beast, you know what I'm saying? Like, 50 shades of beast. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and don't forget to wipe your ass from down to up.